So this true emergency, expenses multiplied by six, really keeps your stress down. In fact, here's a good quote for you guys to write down in your notes. Your stress level is a direct reflection of your emergency fund. Good one. Alexa, play. No, just joking. Your stress level is a direct reflection of your emergency fund. So when you have six months and you're already ahead and it's already saved, then there's not a whole lot that can happen to you to send you into a tailspin this week or this month or you know the next two weeks for your paycheck. It can't send you in a tailspin because you're already prepared for war in times of peace. Put that in your notes. For a true emergency, I must prepare for war in times of peace. Now, again, these are running concurrently, and I'll show you at the end how that happens. Number three, open your first investment account. This generally takes anywhere from $2,500 to $3,500. Now, I'm not going to do this today, but you can take a look at my social media posts on IG and some different courses that I offer where I teach people the minimization or the lack of risk that it involves to actually open up your own investment account. Believe it or not, it's just like opening a checking account, right? You didn't have any danger. You didn't have any fear. You didn't have any reservations. You took your little ID back in the day. You took your social security number and you sat down with somebody and they opened up a checking account. Well, believe it or not, you can open up your investment account the same way. You can do it online just like they do your checking account, your savings account, and your CD. The investment world really is no different these days with the education you have on the uh, platforms that they offer. So an investment account is very important. Here's why. Now you're playing a different game. You understand? So you got four financial goals set. But now what you're saying to yourself is, in the investment side, money is working for me instead of me working for money. I want you to write this down. Something has to work, just not me. See, it takes between $2,500 and $3,500 to open. Here's why. Because everybody can't play. Now, the rules of the wealthy demand that they X certain people out of the equations that pay you double-digit returns. We're talking 10%. 12%, 16%, I've seen 18% returns on my investment by opening investment accounts. Now, I can't give you um, financial advice. I'm not certified as a financial planner. I'm not a CPA, right? I'm not a stockbroker. I'm a financial educator. I am a financial educator. Try saying that quickly. But as an educator, I am allowed to show you how it actually works so you can get with a trained financial advisor, CPA, stockbroker, and pick the funds that suit you. My point is simple. You need money working for you or you will always have to work for money. Here's a good note. If you're not investing, you're not even on the road to wealth. So I don't, I don't endorse these companies or get paid by these companies, but T. Rowe Price, Vanguard, Fidelity, all these, these are investment companies that pick certain funds and have certain funds allocated with certain interest rates that are much higher than the ones you're getting in your savings and checking account. See, all I do is keep enough in my savings account or checking account to function. The money that you need to possess long-term that's going to grow and build a legacy for you is in your investment account. Why? Because the interest rate here is higher than inflation. See, the interest rate here at your checking and savings account, just for 24-hour access for miniature emergencies, is cool, but the interest rate is lower than inflation, which means a lot of times at the banks, you actually lose money. How's that happen, right? You lose money. The interest rate here with investment firms is actually higher than inflation, so your money is making money. Goal number three. Now, goal number four is your freedom goal. Hit it. You got to hit your freedom goal. You got to hit it. Here's why. Only you can determine it. But the freedom goal is how much money you actually need to maintain the lifestyle you've currently established for yourself without working. Let me say this again, because you got to hit it. Your freedom goal is the amount of money you need per month to maintain your current lifestyle without working. See, we can brag all we want on how much money we make. 
Brian, I already make such and such thousand a year. I'm fine. I already make a hundred thousand a year. I'm fine. I well, that's great. I love the fact that people watching this video are making excellent money if that is in fact the case. But I want to know how much money you make by not working. There's a big difference between the money you make working every day from 9 to 5 and some people 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. when you put traffic in the middle or on both ends, they should pay you a handsome salary. But how many times are you getting paid when you're not working? That's the true mark of wealth. So your freedom goal, if you, for example, have about a $8,000 a month lifestyle right now, we have to show you how to get to $8,000 a month without working. Because guess what? One day, you're not going to want to work. One day, you're going to travel the world. One day, you're going to spend time with your, more time with your children and grandchildren. That begins today. That can begin, that can begin right now. But you got to relieve yourself of these miniature stresses. you got to have a true emergency fund in case something catastrophic happens. You have to start investing so money can start working for you and getting double-digit rates of return. And you have to have a freedom goal in mind. So in the event that you decide that my lifestyle is what it is and I'm fine where I am, but I have to find a way to make that lifestyle happen without clocking in. So guys, these are your four financial goals. Now, I know I said I was going to show you how to make them run concurrently, but what I'll do is I'll do that in another video I'm going to create for you guys called 30, 30, 30, 10. And that's how to actually allocate your funds to make these financial goals actually come through. So look forward to 30, 30, 30, 10. My name is Brian Bean. I'll see you guys in the magazines. Here are your four financial goals. Alexa, play Money, Money, Money by the OJ.